Radioactive Dreams, 1986, directed by Albert Pyun, starring John Stockwell, Michael Dudikoff, and Michelle Little. Fifteen years after a nuclear war ravages the Earth, a pair of teenagers escape the fallout shelter they grew up in and get caught up with raiders, cannibals, and other post-apocalyptic characters in the wasteland. This film was recommended by a fan. Thanks for the suggestion. It's a real pleasure having another Albert Pyun film on my channel. I really ended up enjoying Arcade after finding a pre-lawsuit copy of the film, definitely becoming more of a fan of his work as I see more of it. An interesting note with this film is the fact that it injected neo-noir characters into a post-apocalyptic setting. With the two boys growing up on a steady diet of detective fiction and swing music and reacting to the events of the film accordingly. Stockwell and Dudikoff act as pretty convincing foils against the eccentric denizens of the wasteland, acting as the closest thing to normal people we get to see in this world. The film also has manic pink-haired women. I almost wanted to ask what Apple from Turbo Kid was doing in this world. I'm shocked how many similarities this film has with the Fallout franchise. The parallels are uncanny. Protagonists leaving bomb shelters at 18. Protagonists trying to find their fathers. Wrist-mounted devices. Film noir characters. Raiders. Mutants. Cannibals. Post-apocalyptic greasers. Characters enjoying music from the 40s and 50s. The efforts to retrieve nuclear launch codes. Some even speculate that this film influenced the game that followed as a spiritual successor to, but I couldn't find any concrete evidence to prove this. My biggest gripe with this film is the fact that it fails to successfully execute the character arc it intended to. Philip and Marlow go from being painfully gullible to comically jaded at the flip of a switch in the third act. A more gradual change would have been more believable and compelling. It also isn't explained who the groups after the nuclear launch keys are and why they want them. Either the details were cut out or the script was undercooked. The film boasts a catchy 80s soundtrack. Someone even pops up and breaks the fourth wall to perform a music video to the audience at 50 minutes in. A majority of the film is dimly lit. I'm assuming the $3 million budget had something to do with it. Verdict? Meh. An intriguing post-apocalyptic noir film that may or may not have influenced a beloved video game franchise. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling, low-budget adventure.